An external TV speaker that's portable and wireless? This is pretty cool. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. This is so cool. This is the Somolio wireless portable TV speaker. And as you can see, it's a standalone speaker that operates wirelessly up to 100 feet away from its base, which is typically gonna be right by your television. So, how does it work? It's super easy. You wire the TV to the base, and then the base talks to the wireless portable part through 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So, I've been watching The Mummy on HBO, and let me go ahead and get back to it. And so now you can hear the dialogue, For 20 years, I've been trying but to I can take this America. outside. In I fact, let's go do that. All right, I'm outside and it's pretty bright out here, but I have our portable speaker and let's hear if we can catch the movie audio. And yes, I can still hear the movie. Now imagine this might be a sporting event, might be a cooking show, and I can just carry this around and just keep listening to the audio regardless of what I'm doing indoors or outdoors. Hang on there. Um, as long as I'm within 100 feet of the base unit, that is pretty darn flexible. Very cool. Now, let me go ahead and jump back in the kitchen so I can show you some more. So, super easy, and I, so many scenarios where this would be helpful. Let me go ahead and turn that off, or better yet, let's go ahead and turn the TV, maybe get it back to its main screen here. So, basically, there's a lot of scenarios. You're watching a sporting event and you want to do some gardening. Perfect example of this. You're working on your car, but you want to keep up on the news. Well, you can take this out with you, and then when you're done working on the car, you could bring it back in and put it right back on its dock, and you're back to watching TV with the audio connected as you would expect. Now, it's really cool because, among other things, it comes with two power adapters, so two of these, one of which you leave plugged into the base, but then you can plug this in directly if you want and have that as an entirely different way to have this speaker somewhere else, perhaps right by grandpa who might have some hearing issues and can then turn this up a little louder. If you do use this directly plugged in, you should pop the battery out for safety purposes, but if you're just doing that to charge it and then you're gonna use it off of battery and it'll run for six hours on a battery charge, then you don't have to worry about that battery popping in and out so obviously if you pop it out and then you want to charge it doesn't really work <laughs> so once you have a fully charged it'll run for six hours that's what um, one nfl game given all the ads or two or three of movies or typical sports and let me just give you a quick tour of how all this all plugs together so on the base you can see there's audio in and optical in and there's the DC nine volts for power and an on off switch. Then on the speaker unit on the bottom, now I'm gonna go left to right, is the, also that nine volt input, which you only need to worry about if you wanna charge it separately. Every time you put it on the base, it's charging. And then audio in and audio out. And then there's a tone button. And the tone button's interesting because Simoleo has actually tuned the audio to give you more understandable dialogue. So if you're watching a show where there are kids or higher pitched voices, typical women, um, you can put that on treble and it will enhance their voices so that you'll be able to understand them a little better rather than it getting all lost in the sound effects and the music. If there's a lot of men talking, then you wanna switch it to bass and that will enhance male tonal voices or just leave it on normal and hopefully that'll work just fine for you. And now you're wondering, hmm, audio in and audio out, why would you do that? Well, audio in is because you could use this just as a speaker. You could hook this up to your computer or something if you really wanted to, though again, doing it with the bass is more convenient. But the audio out is actually kind of cool because it includes this, they call this the stethoscope style headset and it has a 3.5 millimeter and you can plug this in to the speaker. Now, it is a little bit clumsy if you're gonna be walking around with it, but if you're gonna sit at your favorite chair and you wanna have the option of listening on the speaker or listening privately just on your headset, all of that's included, super easy. Not only that, but it comes with extra earbuds so you can get the right size. 
Now, let me talk to you through some of the other cables here too. So this is an optical cable. This is the best way to hook it up from your TV to the speaker. It gives you the best audio fidelity. If that doesn't work, a lot of TVs have what's known as an RCA connector, and that's where you're gonna have two plugs like this, and then the other end is a single 3.5 millimeter. So you plug this into your TV, you plug this into the base station just on the audio end, works great. Also has 3.5 millimeter on both ends, so you can indeed hook this up to your computer or your PlayStation or your DVD player, whatever you have. You have the choice of optical or RCA or 3.5 millimeter, and that's going to be, I don't know, 99.7% of all devices that have audio that you're going to want to work with. So, really easy. Um, in terms of having the TV volume and having this volume, that's kind of up to how TVs have been designed. Some TVs, when you plug in the headphones, it automatically turns off the speaker. This can't override that, but this can replace it because if you're using it as a speaker, you're going to still hear the audio, so that'll work fine. Better are more modern TVs where you can adjust those two volumes separately. So the um, audio coming into this, you adjust with this, obviously, which is optimal. And then you might have the TV audio pretty low or at a normal listening level. And this might be a little louder. And then you put it maybe right next to your head or something. So you get really good, nice, strong audio. And that's just going to enhance your appreciation and enjoyment of the shows. So that's really everything. It's really easy to set up, really easy to work with. I would recommend you set your audio source to somewhere between 50 and 75% or even higher. And then this you adjust up and down. Probably don't want the TV at 100% because then you're going to get some distortion. But between the two, you can get things pretty loud. This can be a really nice way to supplement. If you have a TV that just has those built-in speakers, generally they don't sound very good. This can improve that. And it's portable. The portability is just ridiculously cool. I really like that I can just sort of walk around the house or, you know, go outside or something and just put this on the table and do some gardening and I'm still in the middle of my show. That's so great. Now, in terms of dimensions, it's about 10 inches by 9.8 inches by 4.3 inches and it is pretty light. It's about two and a half pounds total. This adds a little bit of weight, but everything's much lighter than you would think it would be. And that's obviously really great too, because you don't want to be toting around some 30 pound speaker. This is not that device. So that's really everything I wanted to tell you about it. We do need to talk about the price, but before we get to the price, I'm going to ask you if you could subscribe to my channel, click or a tap on that subscribe button, a click or a tap on that bell icon to turn on notifications. And if you found this useful and interesting, I would definitely appreciate if you gave me a like. So thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> now this is all of this stuff is the Simolio wireless portable TV speaker and it comes in this black or in blue and its base price is $149.99 but there's a bunch of promos and discounts dropping it down to $113 at amazon.com. This is a very different solution than having headphones or headsets. A lot of people prefer this. The convenience and the flexibility is obviously through the roof. I mean, imagine you could just like take the sound bar from your TV and walk around the house with it. How cool is that? So that's everything. I'm going back to the mummy. So I'll hope to catch you in my next video.